To create this kind of design, you need to add the cylinder with the 48 words. And then you need to go to the edit mode and then add a center loop cut. Then turn on your extra mode and select these words like this. You need to select 5 words at there from all the sides. And then move these words along the z-axis in this way. So you can get this kind of pattern. After that select this edge loop and then Ctrl B add bevel on it. Add one segment bevel at there and give the right bevel width. Then you need to add the center loop cut in between these edge loops. And then add a bevel on that center loop cut. Then give the proper bevel width and then select this face loop and then you need to search for string operation and use the string operation add there and give the offset somewhere around 7.07 .07. After that you need to select these edges and then scale these edges along the z-axis a little bit to get the right proportions add there in this way and now you can see that looks really well. Then you need to select this top and bottom faces and then Ctrl B add a bevel on it. Add two segment bevel and give the shape factor to the one. After that you need to select these sharper edges. Go to the select and then select sharper edges. Then go to the object mode and add the subd modifier. Now we have got this kind of form. Then go to the edit mode and then Ctrl B add a bevel on it. Add a two segment bevel and shape factor should be one and give the proper bevel width. So you will get this kind of decent form, then shade smooth it. Now we have got this kind of topology which is not right at there. By selecting these words and connecting them, we can create a right chord based topology. So just select these words and then connect them. If you are facing difficulty with it, then use the knife tool and create a cut like this. So you can get a straight cut at there. And it's a very simple method to get the right chord based topology. Basically we are trying to create a right loop structure at there. So that's why you need to connect these words. With this, you can avoid pinching in these corners. So just use the knife tool and create a cut like this to create that loop structure. You can see the difference in between these two corners. Now just we need to repeat this process for all the design. After that you need to take the symmetry along the x, y, z axis or just x axis maybe. Now you can see the topology add here which looks really well. And similar kind of thing you need to do from the inner side of the design. So just use the knife tool and create this kind of cuts to create a right loop structure. Now just repeat the process. And now you can see that looks really well. Then turn on your extra mode, select these words and then move these words along the z-axis. In this way. And now you can create this kind of design. I just want to reduce the efforts. So that's why I will just take the symmetry along the z-axis. So just select everything and mesh symmetrize, take the symmetry along the z-axis. So I will get this kind of design, which looks really well. So this is a simple technique to create this kind of design. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then please hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye bye. So next video, take care.